video we can at talk about how to fix our dar frontiers of pandora is having crashing issue it is not launching or won't launch freezing stuttering low fps drop black screen and even stuck on loading screen which is happening for many of the users and how we can fix this error so let's dive into the workaround the first one is all about when you wanted to play this game just follow the instruction the first one is all about you have to do a restart on your pc so if you're on the epic games just minimize this one so just go over here in this icon go to the power icon and go for a restart once the restart is done just go back to the epic games launcher once again launch it then try to launch the game and it will be working fine this is what you have to do and this did even work it for many users you can try this out next one is all about we have to move to the next one that is all about you have to launch the game from the installation folder not from the epic games so right now the game is on the epic games so we need to launch the game from the installation folder so we have a shortcut just go over here in the game click on this three dot menu over here click on this one now go for manage now from here there is an option called uh, you know you can go to the uh, shortcut over here or you can navigate to the installation folder just click on this one so when you click on this one you are very easily redirected to the installation folder that is this pc local disk c program file program files epic games avadar frontiers of pandora just navigate to this particular folder now from here we just need to go over here and we need to launch the game so this is what it happens in most cases when you launch the game from the installation folder most probably you can do even for the even for the games in the steam even i recommend this step it even worker for them just launch the game not from the epic games or steam just launch the game from the installation folder so the game is not available in the steam for this avadar frontiers of pandora we have to launch the game from here it will be working fine next one if it's not working we can try two more steps from here itself that we have to run the game as administrator right click over here go to show more options and we have to navigate to the properties go for compatibility click on run this program as administrator go for apply and go for okay this is what we have to do and this will work fine because for many users it did work it so we can try this out another one we have to run the game in the compatibility mode so just right click over here go to show more options we have to go to the properties compatibility click on run this program in the compatibility mode and we have to set this to windows 7 and we have to set this to windows 7 and go for apply and go for okay now we have to set this to windows 8 and go for apply and go for okay you can either try with windows 7 or windows 8 any one of the things will be working fine and you can be done to it so it worked for many users you can try this so once you are done with this one if it still it's not working and you are having the trouble we can move to the next step next step is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to make sure the date and time and region is correct for this we just need to go over here in the search we have to navigate to settings now navigate to time and language go for date and time make sure the time zone automatically should be turned on and also this should be all these three sync three should be turned on make sure the syncing is correct and also go back go to the language and region from here make sure you have selected the country according to your geography so you have to select the country according to your countries where you are living in and you have to select the respective one make sure the region is correct once afterwards just close everything and go back try once again still if you are getting the error then just launch the game and also keep in mind you have to delete the saved game file which i wanted to make you notice So uh, when we are running the game and saving each progressions of the game will be having a backup folder of saving so just navigate to the fi file explorer now from here we have to go to documents over here just go to the documents and over here you have to find whether the game is there as you can see for the assassin creed mirage diablo 4 uh, exo primal so many for the same will be having the games so if the folder is not here just get into this as well and if you find the folder for the avatar just delete the folder and once you delete the folder you have to keep in mind you will be losing all the progressions of the game so just delete it once you delete this one just close everything and we have to go back and we just need to try launch the game next one is all about we have to allow the game to windows security that is what we have to do so just go over here in the search we have to navigate to the control panel now go for system and security go for windows defender firewall go for allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here we have to navigate to avadar so uh, we just need to search over here whether you are able to find avadar so uh, if the game is not here most probably will be able to find it 
So if you are not able to find it, do not worry. We can add it by default. So if the game is not there, we can add it by default. So what we need to do is we just need to do like this. Just click on change setting. Go for allow another app. Go for browse and, and navigate to this PC. And just one more thing. I wanted to make sure that where is the game is installed. Just go over here. So it is local to C program file Epic Games. Okay. So once I cross check this, I have to go over here, go to local disk C, program file x86, go for Epic Games. Now from here we have to go for launcher, not the engine, not this one. Uh, okay. Ep not Epic Games, so here I think it is. Okay, once again, let me cross check, where is it? It is uh, Epic Games then program files and go for epic games and we have to go for avatar friend trace of pantora okay so uh, we have to go over here to the epic games now from here we are not able to find the game so we go to the engine binary is not here this has to be somewhere else i don't know why I think we lost not this has to be in the epic games that's what it's recommending us okay so once after you get into the epic games okay we need to add the game here so once the game is added once the game is added it will be fine with it once the game is added we'll be having the game and make sure both the private and public both has to be selected which is very important so you have to select both and once afterwards just close everything over here and we just need to try launch the game next one is all about we have to unplug all the usb devices so we might be connected with multiple monitors we might be connected with additional joysticks we might be connected with many other things which is causing the crashing issue so what we need to do is we just need to remove the unwanted things just remove the unwanted things then launch the game once the game is launched and you're in the game you can just uh, get it connected back and try continue playing the game with those and it will be work fine as well next one we have to perform a clean boot so just go over here in the search we have to search for uh, you know system configuration just go to the services go for disable all go for hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for ok now when it comes to this go for exit without restart and uh, not for me i'm doing this exit without restart because it is going for the restart so we're in the middle of video the users who are watching this just go for restart once the restart is successfully done, just go back to the Epic Games launcher and try launching the game. Next one, we have to close all the overlay application. So just go over here, right click and we have to go to the task manager. And right now, as you can see, there are a lot of things running in the background and all these things are one of the reasons why we are having the crashing issue. So just remove the unwanted things, for example, Discord, Riva Tuner, MSC Afterburner, all these things can be removed from here. Once everything is successfully removed, just close everything over here and we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about, we have to disable the Steam overlay, which is very important. So it's not here for the uh, Epic Games launcher, but it for Steam, forget it. Then we have to give the few commands in the launch option. So just go over here in this particular one and navigate to manage. Now from here we have, we can give the commands. So the first one is DX11, start with DX11. So if DX11 is not working, change this to DX12. So either the DX11 will be working or we have to try with the DX12. Any one of the things will be working fine and you can try with this. Next one, we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card. For this, what we need to do is we just need to go over here, go for graphics settings. Now from here, we need to add the game. So if the game is not added over here, we need to add it by default. Just click on the browse. Now from here, we have to navigate to this PC. Go to local disk C, go to program file x86, we have to go to epic games. I think I made a mistake, we have to go to program files and go to epic games. Now from here select this one and we have to select the application and go for add. So once the game is added just go to the option and set this to high performance and go for save. Once it has been saved, it is very important that you have to set this to high performance and go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to increase the virtual memory. So just go over here and we have to search for view advanced system settings. Just go over here, navigate to the advanced tab, go for settings, go to the advanced once again, go for change. 
make sure this is blank and select the local disk where the game is installed go for custom size set the value initial size that is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so just go over here we need to go for the calculator so we need to type the ram so just type your ram that is 32 gb multiply it with 1024 that is a constant value and we have to multiply it with 1.5 because it is 1.5 times the total ram so just copy this we have to paste it 32 gb multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 98 304 so just copy this and we have to paste it as well and once it is every value is being done just do this and restart and go back and try launch the game next one we need to update the windows so just go over here in the search we have to navigate to settings go for windows update and make sure the windows is up to date or else you will be having a lot of trouble because for the games kind of these kind of game we have to be in update in the latest version so just update it and if you're having any cumulative update just fix it so right now on my pc it is asking for restart so i have to do a restart and i have to make sure it is on the latest version and once afterwards try launching the game and the next one is all about we have to update the graphics card so i'll be providing a link in the description that will take you to this so either you can we'll be having two for the nvidia as well as to the amd users and the nvidia users has to go over here select everything like your product should be selected and the product series should be selected and you have to select everything for example like product should be uh, what is your configuration and the windows should be selected if you're on windows 11 and go for start search now when you go for start search we'll be getting these options and you have to download 546.29 which is the latest driver version and you have to download this one install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game if you're on the amd just go over here in the graphics and uh, you can just go for submit now from here if you're on windows 11 download this one if you're on windows 10 you can download this one and install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game and if you're on the microsoft you should see plus plus you can do like this and you can go over here if the system is based on x64 you can download this one if the system is based on x86 you can download this one and install a restart as a mandatory and try launch the game so this can be done and the last and the least step which can be done is all about we have to uninstall and reinstall the game so just go over here and click on this one there is an option called uninstall the game for reinstalling it back you should not be installing it back on the same local disk from which uninstall you have to try a new local disk and that is what we have to do so these possible workarounds can be done when you're having an issue with avadar uh, avadar the franchise of pandora and it will be working fine i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful and there is one more step which i forgot which is all about the verify integrity of game file sorry for that which is very important step so i'll be showing you this just click on this one go for uh, manage and click on verify game file so it will going to take a little bit of time so what happens is it will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this so uh, once the verify integrity of uh, you know once it is completely done i mean the verify integrity of game file is already done and everything is done and once afterwards we can try launch the game because uh, you know if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing we'll be having these kind of crashing issue and everything will be there so just do the verify integrity of game file which is very important and these possible workarounds can be done and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye